Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the biomes you need to visit to get the Adventuring Time Advancement in Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. So if you go into our Advancement tab and then look under Adventure all the way down here after Sweet Dreams, there is the Advancement Adventuring Time where you need to visit 42 different biomes. So in this video, I'll show you all the biomes you need to visit for this advancement. And of course, this is for 1.17, so if there are any more biomes added in 1.18 or further, and you'll need to visit those for this advancement, then I will leave a pinned comment down below with the biomes you need to visit, along with all the ones you see in this video. So if you like micro videos like this one, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more micro videos like this one. I've actually made a video on all biomes in Minecraft as well, so even the ones you don't have to visit to get the Adventuring Time advancement. If you want to watch that video, link to it will be in the top right hand side of your screen. So this is one of the most difficult advancements in Minecraft because there are some difficult biomes in this list. And so we'll go through them in alphabetical order, starting off with the Badlands. So here we are in the Badlands, or formerly known as the Mesa, one of the rarest biomes in Minecraft. And this will get us to one out of 42 biomes. And the second one is actually pretty close because the second biome is the Badlands Plateau. So this is just a raised area within the Badlands. If you want to check if you reach the biome, then just press F3 and look over here at Biome. You will see that it says Minecraft Badlands Plateau. So make sure you've seen that on your F3 screen. That means it will add it to the list of biomes you've visited. Then next up we have the Bamboo Jungle. So here we are in the Bamboo Jungle with a whole lot of bamboo inside of a jungle. So here you'll need the bamboo jungle biome and also the bamboo jungle hills biome so let's look in f3 we're still in bamboo jungle let's see if we can find the hills variant as well there we go we're currently in the bamboo jungle hills and of course while you're here you probably should also get the other jungle biomes but we'll get into those later on in the video because we're currently only at the b and the next in alphabetical order is the beach. So pretty much just head to any ocean or body of water and you will definitely find a beach there like this one right here. We can check, yes, we are indeed on a beach. After beach, we have the birch forest, which is just a forest completely made up of birch trees. Now, once again, you'll need the normal variant and the hills variant as well. So let's check. Can we find the hills? This looks like a beautiful hill. There we go. We got the hills variant. And so you don't have to find the tall birch forest biome or the tall birch forest hills. These are not included in the Adventuring Time advancement. Next up is the cold ocean. So it suggests to just traveling by boat through all of the oceans to get all of those biomes. So you'll need the cold ocean and also the deep cold ocean. But let's not stray away further from our alphabetical order. We first need to go over to the dark forest. Here we are, this is the dark forest or the dark oak forest. Now there is also a hills variant here, but you don't need it for the adventuring time advancement. Just find one of these dark forests and walk through it. And now we'll get back to our oceans. So apart from the deep cold ocean, you will also need the deep frozen ocean. So you'll only need the deep frozen ocean and not the frozen ocean, which is quite strange. But I mean, I didn't pick out these different biomes. So we'll need the deep frozen ocean for the adventuring time advancement. And another deep ocean you'll need is the deep lukewarm ocean, which we have over here. And here we do need also the regular lukewarm ocean variant for the advancement then we move on to a way easier biome and that is just the normal desert and also the desert hills so you probably already have these of course but i'll just show them off anyway so there we go desert and desert hills and then we'll get to an even more common biome and that is the forest. Now I think I found the largest forest ever over here. Just make sure it's a normal forest with oak trees and birch trees and not a birch forest. As always, check with the F3 screen that you're actually in the right biome. So now let's dive back into the more rare biomes with the frozen river. So here we are. This is a frozen river which generates within all different snowy biomes instead of a normal river. And after the frozen river, we have the giant tree taiga. So this biome is not very common, but it is the biome with the massive spruce trees, the two by two spruce trees, and all the pots all on the floor. 
So you will need the giant tree taiga and also the giant tree taiga hills. But here, once again, make sure that you're actually using the F3 screen because there is a biome very, very similar to this one. That's called the giant spruce taiga and giant spruce taiga hills. So these are not the ones you need for the adventuring time advancement. You only need the giant tree taiga and giant tree taiga hills biomes. So make sure you're in the right biome. All right, now we're back in the jungle. Of course, we already have the bamboo jungle and it's probably safest to just, after getting the bamboo jungle, also getting the normal jungle, the jungle hills and the jungle edge. So these are the three other jungle biomes you will need. And of course, jungle hills and jungle are pretty common. But for the jungle edge, of course, you need to go to the edge of a jungle biome. So here we go. Here we are at the edge of the jungle and normal terrain. So we'll see just some spaced out smaller jungle trees and some spaced out bushes like this. From these you can see that you're actually in a jungle edge instead of a normal jungle. So luckily you don't have to get the modified jungle edge because that's the rarest biome in the game that actually does generate. So it would be a pain if you would have to find it for this advancement. It would though be nice to get a very, very difficult advancement where you have to travel through all the different biomes in the game. That would be a pretty cool extra advancement Mojang could add. But let's just move on to the lukewarm ocean. So of course we already mentioned this one during the deep lukewarm ocean. But just to make sure, yes, you also need the lukewarm ocean for the adventuring time advancement. Then we have the mountains biome, previously known as extreme hills. And then after the mountains biome we go to, well we don't need the modified gravelly mountain. We go over to probably one of the rarest biomes in this list. And that is the mushroom fields. Or as it was previously known, the Mushroom Island. So this is, of course, where all the mushrooms spawn, where the mushrooms are, and a lot of mycelium. So along with the mushroom fields, you also need the mushroom fields shore, which is just on the edge of one of these mushroom fields. You'll get both of these if you find one of these mushroom islands. But as I said, these ones are very rare, so make sure to just explore a whole lot around your world. And you will probably need an elytra to explore a lot of your world very quickly. Then we have two super common biomes, so you'll just need the plains of course, and you will also need the river. But most likely you've already gotten both of these of course, since they are very common in your world. Next on the list is the savanna with the acacia trees. And along with the savanna you will also need the savanna plateau. So I don't really see a plateau over here, but there we go, we found one. So here we go, we're on in the savanna, and if we move up this mountain we will be on the savanna plateau. And then from this very warm biome, we'll go over to the five snowy biomes you'll need for this advancement. So first up we have the snowy beach, which is just a beach covered in snow. Then we also need the snowy tundra, so this is an area like this one. We also need the snowy mountains, which, well, actually really aren't mountains, but just more of hills. So just see if you can find some hills in your snowy tundra and you'll get the snowy mountains over there. Then we'll need the snowy taiga, just go to some of the spruce trees and you'll get the snowy taiga. And within the snowy taiga, find another hill and you'll get the snowy taiga hills. Now here you have to be careful again because there are also the snowy taiga mountains. And you don't need these for the advancement, you only need the snowy taiga hills. So make sure you've seen the snowy taiga hills on your F3 screen before you move on. Now another beach type of biome is the stone shore. Once again it's easiest to just go by boat and see if you can find some sort of mountain. Then just go on land near the mountain and you'll probably reach a stone shore. They are pretty common, but they're just not too big and not too noticeable. The spawning location for the swamp hut is the next biome on the list. It is of course the swamp. You don't need the swamp hills though. Then we move on to the taiga and the taiga hills. So pretty much the same as the snowy taiga and snowy taiga hills, but this time without the snow. So just find a spruce forest, there you'll get the taiga biome and the taiga hills biome. And then we have one lost ocean we need to find which is the warm ocean and this warm ocean most often has coral reefs in it so you'll easily spot it if you're on a boat just going through a lot of ocean. Now strangely you don't need the normal ocean and deep ocean biomes for this advancement and you also don't need the deep warm ocean biome since this one actually doesn't generate in your Minecraft world. So after this warm ocean there are just three biomes left you will need and these are three wooded biomes. 
So we'll start off with the Wooded Badlands Plateau. So this one is once again very rare because the Badlands biome is already rare and it's generating with a Wooded Badlands Plateau is even rarer. So a lot of exploring is needed to find this biome and you'll immediately spot it because it will be a Badlands Plateau but then with a whole lot of oak trees on top. So once you see it you'll know that this is the Wooded Badlands Plateau. Then next is the Wooded Hills. So here we are, just some hills with some trees on top. Nothing too special, formerly known as Forest Hills, now just known as Wooded Hills. And then, as you can see, in our Advancement tab, we just need one more biome. The last one is the Wooded Mountains. So, just some mountains with some trees on top. Here we go. And we got the Advancement. Adventuring time. So, here we are in the Wooded Mountains. The last biome on our list. So yeah, pretty much just a mountain with some trees on it. So we can see there are spruce trees here, but there are also oak trees. So if there were just spruce trees, it would probably be a snowy taiga mountains. But since there are also oak trees here, it's the wooded mountains. So those are the 42 different biomes you'll need to receive the adventuring time advancement in Minecraft 1.17. So if you liked this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier members, the Smicklar and Chung 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 Chung. Thank you so much for becoming tier 3 members. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. There we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video and hope to see you all in the next one. So until then, bye bye.